what is up internet welcome back to the channel and first of all just let me know if you like this new setup it's not actually my place it's my friend's place but I can manage this setup for another couple of weeks before I get my own setup and a new backdrop so let me know what you guys think of the setup and so this video will not be a review it will not be a rant as well so as you would have seen in my last video I got to visit Bangkok for a couple of days so I decided to buy myself a new laptop I was anyway looking to buy a new laptop and I was getting a really good deal on this particular model and I was also getting two years of global warranty so I bought myself this Asus Zenbook 14 UX 433 FN it was recently launched in India in January for about 1 lakh 2000 rupees so I got this laptop from Bangkok, I came back to India and the very first time I booted this laptop I heard this weird scratching noise from the left half of the keyboard and I knew it was coil wine. Now in case you don't know what is coil wine, it's just the vibrating noise the electric coils make on the main board when the current passes through them. I know it's it does not mean that the any hardware part is faulty or there is anything wrong with the laptop but it says something about the company's quality control so uh, I decided to go to Asus service center in Gurgaon as well as at the Nehru place uh, which is one of the biggest service centers of Asus in Delhi NCR so I went there and the engineers there had no idea what was wrong with the laptop and I was very hesitant to get uh, my laptop repaired within a couple of days of purchase so uh, so I decided instead of reaching out to the service center I'll reach out to Asus directly and see if they can offer me a refund or replacement but Asus refused that their DOA policy that is dead on arrival policy is not valid if you purchase a laptop from a foreign country you can only avail the DOA if you uh, if, I, if I take this laptop back to Thailand and get it replaced from there so uh, in the meantime then I decided let's just use the laptop as it is it's not a big issue either way but after using the laptop for seven days I heard the coil wine I could hear the coil wine even in the slightest of instances uh, so I could hear the coil wine when the laptop was charging I could hear the coil wine when uh, I booted up and every time I shut down my laptop and I could also hear the coil wine while scrolling onto the Chrome browser so it really pissed me off so I decided let's just give the laptop once for repair and see if the issue might actually get resolved so uh, on 19 February uh, I gave my laptop to the service center in Gurgaon uh, they said that after their thorough diagnosis they said that uh, they will replace the CPU and the SSD and see if the if the issue gets resolved or not so on the 19th February itself the engineer ordered the spare parts on 21st February the parts came uh, on 22nd February the engineers began the repair process they replaced the CPU they replaced the SSD but still the issue was not resolved so now the service center guys told me that the case has now been transferred to the ASUS backend team and they'll be looking after your issue so after waiting for about four days the service center a call aata hai saying that they have got the feedback from the backend team and they have said that this issue is very prevalent in this series of ASUS Zenbook and they'll not be issuing any sort of refund or replacement and I was shocked I was like I just got this laptop one week back and mujhe already is issues are the the service center replaced the spare parts but still issues solved nahi hua. and now you were coming to me and saying that we will not be issuing any sort of refund and replacement because the issue is serious mein prevalent hai. and I was like what the so uh, I, I still uh, didn't give up and decide to reach to the ASUS front-end customer service team and I asked them if they can give me this feedback in writing but interestingly they refused to give this feedback they told me that we can only verbally communicate with you verbally and this further pissed me off, my mind was bad and then after asking the final feedback from the back-end team 
the service center guys, the ASUS service center front end guys told me that uh, the back end team told me that they found no issue in the laptop and they have closed the case and the customer has taken back the laptop from the service center. After that, I was very bad at my mind so I decided I'll write an email. I wrote about 4-5 emails explaining the whole issue but I got no response from them. Then I called them every day 2-3 calls asking them if I can get this feedback in writing and I connect with the back-end team ke bande se ek bar connect kar so that I can have a more comprehensive feedback because why is it that ASU is not giving me any sort of replacement. But after that, about one month uh, after this case, I got a call from ASUS a couple of days back from the backend team and they have told me that they have reached out to the headquarters of ASUS in Taiwan and they are actually now working on the issue and what I have got, it, got from the conversation was that they are working on a BIOS update which might solve the issue, uh, maybe, I'm not very sure. But uh, yes guys, I decided to make this video to have you guys an idea about the after sale service scenario of ASUS in India. If you are looking to buy an ASUS laptop or an ASUS phone which is the Zenfone series, just make sure uh, that the after sale service is not really good. So yes guys, I hope uh, you liked this video. If you did, just drop the like button and do subscribe to our channel if you want to see more such videos in future as well. So till then, keep asking and I'll see you in the next one.